Hey all dear students, welcome to the Quantum Guru. In this video, I will talk about the flux through circular ring due to a short dipole placed on its axis. In the classroom teaching for the ITJ physics, one of the important questions during the flux topic in electrostatics is to find the electric flux through a circular ring due to a point charge placed on its axis. And that is a very uh, simple thing. For that, we need to use the solid angle concept. And now in place of that point charge here, uh, short dipole space on its axis. So if I go by the integration method, so that will be very difficult because to find the electric field at various point on the plane of the ring, uh, it will be very difficult and the angle of the electric field with the normal will also be difficult to calculate. So I'll use a simple technique. I'll use the result of the flux due to point charge through the ring and then displace that point charge a little so uh, let's try to find out this calculation so this is a ring of radius r this center from the center along the axis at a distance x point charge q is placed so i want to find the flux due to this point charge through the ring for that thing just recall that if you take any gaussian surface uh, like this if you take any gaussian surface that is containing the charge q suppose that gaussian surface is s the flux is phi dash is equal to uh, q by epsilon naught and the field lines that are animating from this point charge q are spread over the 4 pi solid angle and all those field lines are eventually crossing through this. The distribution of field line per unit solid angle is uniform because the space is isotropic and no other point charge is placed in the vicinity. So, in the 4 pi solid angle, the flux is q by epsilon naught. But out of the 4 pi solid angle, the flux crossing through the ring would be limited to some other solid angle uh, like this. Suppose, if I make a line from here to the ends of the ring like this. So, now this, this is a solid angle omega. The flux crossing through the ring would be limited to only corresponding to those field lines uh, that are within this solid angle omega. So the and suppose this angle is theta. So I can say that the, the flux that is crossing through the ring that phi phi would be phi would be uh, omega divided by 4 pi into q by epsilon naught because I am repeating that the distribution of field lines per unit solid angle is uniform. So the omega from the usual formula this omega is equal to 2 pi into 1 minus cos theta. So 2 pi into 1 minus cos theta cos theta you can see uh, this is x upon square root of x square by r square. So x divided by square root of x square plus r square and then there is a 4 pi epsilon naught so and simplify this you will get pi is equal to uh, q by 2 epsilon naught into 1 minus x upon square root of x square plus r square. Now I have displaced this point charge towards the ring by an amount dx. So actually from the calculus point of view this I will write dx because the change in x must be in the increasing direction of x. So from that point of view that should be actually minus dx. So I will take care of that minus sign. So now because this um, uh, q is coming towards the ring, the field lines have become more denser. The flux through the ring should be now because it, I have displaced slightly, the flux should increase slightly. So the, now the new flux has become say phi plus d phi. So uh, take a differentiation of this phi with respect to x. So just write uh, d phi by dx. So d phi by dx you differentiated uh, q by eps, 2 epsilon naught. Differentiation of 1 is 0. So other term for that thing I am taking minus outside and square of the denominator that is a x square plus r square the 
numerator term derivative is 1 into the denominator x square plus r square rule reverse and now x into derivative of the denominator that will be uh, 1 upon 2 square root of x square plus r square and then uh, go into the square root and differentiate so that will be twice of x so this 2 and 2 will get cancelled so that will be a minus q by 2 epsilon naught and that will be x square plus r square and from here x square and the denominator it will be x square plus r square uh, 3 by 2 yeah this is where x square will get so finally uh, i will get d5 is equal to uh, q by 2 epsilon naught into r square divide by x square plus r square power 3 by 2 into minus dx. So, I told you that actually that thing should be minus dx uh, calculus point of view. So, if you do not want to go through the sign thing, so just write the modulus of that thing because it is clear that as we will go closer to the ring the flux will increase. Now uh, let us take the final situation. See in the final situation there is a this minus q charge there is this plus q charge now what to be the total flux that is kind of a dipole. So this is actually the superposition of these two with a, some negative charge. So here at a distance x from the ring charge q was placed so flux was phi so now if the charge minus q is placed so the flux would be minus phi number one and here the charge q was placed at this position and then the flux was phi plus d phi here charge q is placed so flux is a phi plus d phi so flux is phi plus d phi so overall flux in this case is just d phi so d phi that i have written here and you can see that those so the net flux if i write the net flux is phi net i can go to the next page and before that you can write this uh, this system of minus q and plus q can be thought of as a dipole of dipole moment p and that dipole moment is simply a q into dx. So, the net flux is d phi. So, phi net is uh, actually magnitude of d phi and that d phi we had obtained q I can put dx first q into dx divided by 2 epsilon naught r square divided by x square plus r square power 3 by 2. So, phi net is equal to how much this thing I can think as a dipole moment. So, this is a p uh, r square divided by 2 epsilon naught r square plus x square power 3 by 2. So, finally, let me go to the starting page. Here in this case the overall flux is given by I can write the final expression phi net is equal to p r square divided by 2 epsilon naught r square plus x square power 3 by 2. So that is the final expression. Thank you.